We are ready for a new color. So, um, as you guys may or may not know, uh, I'm one of the owners of Arctic Fox Hair Color and Ryan is the head of product development. So what, there's all these dirty brushes on my desk that I forgot to remove. Let me get rid of these real quick. They're gonna drive me crazy. So with that being said, we have been working on developing, um, or Ryan has been working on developing a color remover for Arctic Fox. One of the number one questions that I get from you guys is, how do I remove the color? I'm ready to switch to a different color. So um, we have been very careful with this process because we wanted to create a color remover that wasn't as harsh because most color removers are just straight up bleach, um, which a lot of people cannot, their hair cannot handle if they've been bleaching it and coloring it for a long time like myself. So with that being said, um, Today I'm gonna to be testing a color remover that we have gone through a few renditions of. The first couple did not work. They weren't strong enough, so we needed to go a little bit stronger. So today I'm gonna to try this and I'm going to be the guinea pig, which I'm a little bit freaked out about because I have pretty damaged hair. Um, thanks to all my Mika masks that I've been using recently and the repairing conditioner, shampoo and conditioner, it's been pretty good, but still have thin hair to begin with, but I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys in on kind of this whole process of testing out. Penny is in the other room, like rip roaring around on our carpet going crazy. Okay, so let's get mixing here. So basically there are three parts to this, um, and this isn't super necessary to go over since this is not a product that is currently out, but there is powder, there is a castor oil and oil, um, creation that goes in there as well as developer. So say if you're going to put one ounce of um, powder, which we are going to do today, you're then going to do two ounces of the oil substance. I don't even know what to call it at this point. We haven't named it. Um, and then also two ounces of the developer. So you're basically doing double of the liquids as you are the um, powder. So this, as you can see, is extremely watery. Mixing this up, as you can tell, it is quite watery. So we will definitely need to work on that if we do move forward with this formula because the, it being this watery is not going to be pleasant for uh, not ruining clothes. Um, I did try this the other day and I forgot to add the developer like a moron and I actually had my Metallica t-shirt on and the front of it got a little lighter. So it removed the pigment from my t-shirt, which <laughs> I was a little bummed about, but I was also like, it works, it works. But my Metallica t-shirt, so, you know. So before we apply this, I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to grab a brush. I guess we'll be using a comb. Now I have extensions in and I'm getting these removed and replaced tomorrow, but like these extensions are on their freaking way out, dude. Like I have always gotten extensions from Hotheads and then also the hair shop in LA. These are from the hair shop and these like really let me down this time. Like they are just not, not very good. Like they're just kind of like, it feels like horse hair a bit. Um, I mean, that's a little, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but yeah, so. Most of the color is already out of my natural hair. As you can see, it's mostly blonde. So I'm gonna pull up that bit because I don't need to be putting any chemicals on my hair um, if it doesn't need it. I'm also gonna leave out these baby hairs down here because these are already blonde. And I've been trying to get these mother effers to grow for so long. Eh, I can't believe how long my roots are. Like this is a good thing. My hair's grown a lot, but wow, I need to bleach my roots. You guys know we like to really take our time with our products. Like we don't like to rush anything because we wanna give you guys the best product that we could possibly create, which sometimes takes a really long time. Like for instance, we have a color dropping in April that I was told not to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> sorry guys. Um, sorry, Ryan. Uh, I uh, have been, we've been working on this color for literally three years um, and it's been frustrating, it's been annoying, but you know what? It's finally here, it's finally nailed, it's finally killer. I'm just really excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put gloves on. I got my KL Puppy shirt on right now. I think this shirt is currently on sale on my website. So if you want to grab one, you are in luck because it's on sale. 
or for like baby hands. I'm just gonna go for it and try not to drip too much. Ah, it's dripping everywhere! I feel like I should just dip my hair in this. Like, why am I applying it like this? Can I just, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a bad idea, that was a bad idea. Ah! <laughs> So the idea behind this color remover is that it is less damaging than using a lot of the other color removers, which are essentially just pure bleach. <coughs> so this one does, you know, I mean, to get color out, you gotta go in with the big guns, but it doesn't always have to be so damaging. So that's what we're aiming to do. So as you can see, it's definitely lifting the pink out because this is completely blonde now, whereas the roots where I didn't really get enough of this is still slightly pink. So you can really see it right there. So this is like literally coming out before our eyes, like the side's almost completely blonde now. This is coming out pretty good too. I mean, I'm a little distracted because of the green tinsel, but I feel like this is back to like the yellow blonde that we had before. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 more minutes, keeping an eye on it. If um, I'm not seeing any more color, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it, but gonna plan on leaving this on for about 15 more minutes. I will wash and dry and we will be back to see. <coughs> Shit, let's try that again. Gonna plan to leave this on for about another 16 minutes, then wash it. I will uh, wash, blow dry, come back, and we'll see what we have and see what we think about the color remover. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. Um, and we're gonna have to do more testing, obviously. We wanna see how this removes even darker color, not just pastels, but um, we will we will be giving it to some of our friends and pros to try it out as well, but this is the the first test run. Ding! So we are back. Um, this worked phenomenally well. Um, there's a bit of pink up here because I didn't actually get it worked into these this piece right here. But I am absolutely shocked. Um, this actually worked better than I thought it was going to. Green is really hard to get out of hair and this does such a good job. Like these green strands are throwing me off a little bit. Um, but I mean, I'm blonde again. This is like pretty amazing. I also wanted to see how this would work on darker hair. So I went ahead and did a swatch on darker hair so that you can see what this looks like. This was when it first went in and then a little bit later and then the final results. I was really impressed by this. Um, the hair felt great. I could literally hit that again with the color remover and I think it would have removed it. Um, I just, I'm gonna test that still. I just didn't have the time to do it tonight. But my hair still feels really good. Like I said, these extensions were like kind of feeling like garbage before I even started, but it did go on some of my hair up here and it feels perfect. Like I took a shower and usually when you bleach or use a intense color remover, you get a bunch of hair in your vag and like you have to pull it out <laughs> after you're freaking like drying yourself off and whatnot. And if you're a lady or a man with long hair, you probably know what I'm talking about. Get stuck in your butt and stuff. Anyways, um, I am so extremely excited about this. This works so freaking well. And I was talking with Ryan and he said you could leave it on between um, 30 to 45 minutes and it won't damage your hair at all. So this feels so amazing. Like I am just so freaking excited right now. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How do you think this performed on my hair as well as the swatch? And should we, should we make this? Should we bring it out? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of our Arctic Fox vision and Product creation, it means a lot to us. I love to get your feedback um, because at the end of the day, the product is for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day, night, whatever it is for you. I'm gonna go finish watching American Idol. No, American Idol, The Voice.
hello, I haven't watched American Idol in like years. So The Voice, it's paused, gonna go watch it. This is like the longest, weirdest exit ever. I'm just really excited about this. Um, bye guys.